I just thought I would go through um, polymer clay noses and how I make them um, and I'm just going to show you what you actually need. You're going to need some forceps, some wire cutters, some wire which are a pickup from Bunnings which is actually the cheaper way to do it and of course some polymer clay. Okay so you, you need to be sure that you work this polymer clay until it's really, really soft. And so it's a bit like plasticine or anything like that. But if it's still cracking like that when you're doing it, it means it's not soft enough and it will crack after you cook it. So we, um, we have a, a specific little oven that we use. We call it the nose oven because uh, it is polymer clay, which means it's plastic. So possibly sometimes cooking it in your own oven at home and just be aware that it is plastic and you need to be careful what oven you use we use a little toaster oven here it's got the big nose oven written all over it so I'm going to work that and it does work it's easier to work it in the summer than it is in winter but basically <clears throat> keep working it and working it get a little bit of wire and form the loop. So the loop that we're forming is something similar to what you use on the back of your eyes when you're putting Teddy Bite Bear's eyes on together. Uh, just make sure you can see that. And then I'm going to cut it with the wire cutters. Try to avoid cutting them with your scissors because they're going to, of course, the wire is going to damage your scissors. So I cut it nice and So I've got this great loop in the, and I've formed it with the actual forceps. There you go. And then form my nose shape with the polymer clay. So I do all kinds of different noses. You can do, just roll around in your hand and make a circle and then form a shape. I use the little kind of curve on the back of my fingers to help me shape that. There's just a normal little shape like that. You can do a little pointed shape like I use on my Brian Bear. You can actually make any shape you want. So I actually make birds and all sorts of stuff with the polymer clay. The trick is getting it really well worked. So that would be a nose I would use on Brian. Put it into the palm of my hand and then get the wire into the back. Just like so, nice and even. Push it through. Now, don't push it through too deep or you are gonna end up with little silver dots on the front of your nose, unless you want little silver dots. So now I'm gonna put that in a moderate oven uh, for about 15 minutes and then when it's cooled, take it out of the oven and let it cool. So I actually cook it in the forceps. I make sure when I pull the forceps out, that I take them out and lay them straight down. This way, when I pick it back up and put it into the nose, it's gonna go straight in to exactly where I've taken it out. Okay, then I get a little bit of super glue. This is a really good one because it's um, more like a gel. Put a bit of super glue into that and put the wire back in. And I leave that to dry. So ideally you want to leave that dry for at least 24 hours before you attach it to your bear. Then you just go ahead and attach that the same way you do an eye. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.